We have uh, the KUAM News team, Sabrina Sosmat Tanani. Uh, good morning, Sabrina. Hi, guys. I'm here at uh, Marine Corps Drive near Kmart. Okay. All right. Thanks. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, I'm here on Marine Corps Drive where uh, there's a serious crash. Uh, it's near Triple J and Kmart right here at the JFK intersection. You can't really see it because I'm being pushed back uh, by the police. I can't get further into the into the scene, but it looks pretty bad. The car uh, looks like it may have also been torn, uh, torn in half almost. Uh, according to Tur Turka Targalov, she sent a release just a few minutes ago, and it appears that uh, the vehicle hit a concrete pole at least from what I'm seeing here on the scene. Mm. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Brie. Okay. I'm trying to get a little bit closer, but can you guys see anything? Uh, yeah, we, we could see the cop car. Um, right. And the road closed off. There's a fire engine way up the way. Uh, Brie, right. This is yeah, you can't. Northbound traffic is closed right now. So you can't uh, head if you're heading towards Dedito or Anderson Air Force Base. Traffic is uh, blocked off. Southbound traffic, however, is still uh, moving along. I uh, can't really tell what kind of car it is, but can you see where the police officer is? Yeah. Uh, by the concrete pole? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, the, that's the front part of the car. Wow. And then further down by the ambulance is uh, the remaining portion of the vehicle. And again, it looks like it, it may have hit this concrete pole. I can't really tell if the car was heading northbound or or southbound. But you have GPD, GFD uh, here. I don't see highway here just yet. I did place a call to Paul Tapao, who is the spokesperson, and I have not yet heard uh, from him. Uh, but Brie, again, uh, this crash occurred just around 6.11 this morning. Bree, uh, I know it's early and uh, and it's probably still developing, but uh, is this a fatal crash or do you know anything at all about we, this? We don't, we don't have uh, any information. Uh, like I mentioned, I did call Paul Tapao to get uh, any kind of details as to what transpired. Trick Chargalov, she's a spokesperson for the Guam Fire Department. All that uh, she confirmed that there is, in fact, or there was, in fact, a crash that occurred around 6-11. The GFD medics are here. They are um, working on the lone occupant that was inside the vehicle. But again, but again, it appears that this, you know, the vehicle tore, you know, uh, in half. What were you saying? Uh, no, I was just letting you what talk. What was that? Not, nothing, Brie. Go ahead. Keep on. So are they, I mean, can you, yes. can, are they performing CPR, Sorry. Brie, or do you know? I, I don't even see, I'm too far uh, okay. from the scene. I can't see anything other than that ambulance, I mean, ambulance, fire truck that's behind me. And uh, the two uh, portions of the car is okay. kind of cut in half. And Brie, this is just, a, is this a little bit past uh, the Triple J by Kmart there? Uh, yeah, just a little bit past it. Well, the, the first part of the vehicle is uh, right in front of Triple J, right at the concrete pole, wow. right behind this cop car, police car. And then further down is the other uh, part of the vehicle. Uh, Bree, what can you tell us about the road conditions in that area? Yeah, the road conditions are, are wet, clearly. You can tell. You can tell it was raining, and it might rain while I'm here. You know, they're telling us to go back to the, back, back to the scene, but I'm just going to move up a little bit. Yeah. All right. Like, you guys can see in, your, in, your, in the, the right-hand side of uh, Sabrina's screen, uh, that's the first half of the vehicle. Uh, as uh, This vehicle uh, hit the pole from what Sabrina was saying and was torn in half. We saw some, something similar with that crash over there in Weddingale uh, just what yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it we looks could. like it's like a light, a light, like a gray. Is it a sedan, Bree? It's yeah, it's a sedan. Okay. So it looks like a light gray sedan. Uh, uh, um, the one occupant. Yeah, according to uh, the release we got from GFD, 
but you can see there's there's debris all over the road. Well, you might not be able to see it, but I can see it. You know, we can see it's up on the sidewalk. It's, pretty, it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty uh, tragic. Debris. So it it kind of looks like the front end of the vehicle is facing your back. Right. Okay. It's facing towards me, while the other part of the vehicle is facing um, to the n n north. All right. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. And so Thank how it you. works, guys, is usually with, when, when you arrive on the scene, I mean, if you're, like, early on the scene and you get a tip, uh, you can get right up in there and film stuff. But as the police start to show up, they of course, they set uh, the perimeter, and then and it's at that point right. that they tell media to move back. So that's what's happening right yeah. now. And actually, we, we, had, uh, we had the Google Maps up a few uh, moments ago when Bree was giving a report street side, and you can already see the traffic density. It's really starting to back up on, on the JFK Hill and on northbound and southbound right. traffic, as you said, as, as police begin and to uh, square away the area. What, what's happening now, Bree? Is, is that guy backing up, and is he making the perimeter even uh, bigger? Uh, yeah, he's – no, he might be leaving. Let me get out of his way. Sorry. And so, uh, Bree, oh, he's blocking the road. Oh, yeah, he yeah. is blocking it. Okay. So I'm, he's going to make me move further. So these, See, I'm right here at the mobile. These three northbound lanes, this is a Marine Corps Drive, right as you yeah, hit all, Kmart. Right. All northbound uh, lanes are blocked off. People can still head southbound right. for now, at least. Are they? And again, we're still waiting for more information from uh, Paul Tapal. Bree, are they but able to... Uh, to to turn left down into Tumon from the Kmart intersection? Uh, well, right now there's no nobody heading northbound from the JK intersection. There's no traffic, and I I can't see further. Let me just get in the road. Careful. I can't see if it's blocked off. Yeah, it's blocked off. You cannot you cannot um head towards towards JFK. Okay, so it, so the intersection of JFK and Kmart is blocked off too. Yeah, further down the road. Like okay. you can't see it at the intersection, but they're further down, probably towards like uh foodies. Yeah. Is highway here? Is highway here? They're being activated? Hi Hi highway's been activated? All right. So highway's been activated and they're going to respond to uh launch an investigation. So anytime that highway is activated, then you know it is a, a serious crash. All right. And that that's what the call was, right, Bree? Was that uh, this was a serious uh, crash? That was the uh, information that we received. That it was a serious crash, and it uh, does appear to be really serious. Right. Uh, before we get into the news again, uh, Bree, for our viewers, because there's a lot of viewers just jumping on right now on the Facebook Live. Can you recap uh, what you saw when you you came onto the scene here of this serious accident? Right, so the Guam Police Department, the Guam Fire Department, they are here responding to a, a serious crash, uh, 1028 is what they call it, along Marine Corps Drive here in Upper Tumon. It is uh, near the Kmart JFK intersection near Triple J. It's one vehicle involved, as far as we know, from the Guam Fire Department. Uh, spokesperson, Trika Chargalov. Uh, medics were on the scene. They were uh, working on the lone occupant. Uh, it appears that the vehicle, it's a sedan, um, uh, tore apart or was torn in two. Uh, you can see in the background here at the telephone pole, utility pole, uh, that's the first part of the vehicle. It's facing south, while the other part of the vehicle, which is further down the road, you can see it, um, is facing kind of north. Bree, how far so north? Again, highway patrol. Yes. How far yes. north is the second half of the vehicle? What do you mean how far north? So how we, far up the street? Yeah, yeah. Because we can uh, see the first half right there. It's, it's near like the old foremost building. Okay, right? okay. Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. Right. So that's all the information that we know right now. Uh, the, you know, the police officers here on the scene, they don't, they don't really give you any other information because... They relay whatever is going on here to uh, Paul Tapal, who's a right. spokesperson. So again, we're just waiting to hear from Paul about the details. But if you are planning on traveling, or if you have to head north, 
towards Anderson Air Force Base, towards Dedito, towards DPW, you're going to have to find an alternate route because northbound traffic, the, all of the lanes have been shut down here on Marine Corps Drive, uh, beginning near uh, Foodies and JFK. Okay, again, uh, Sabrina Sosmatanani on the scene of that uh, serious car accident where, again, like she had said, the vehicle uh, was torn in two. Uh, police have closed off the northbound uh, lanes on Marine Corps Drive uh, right before the JFK intersection up all the way, I'm assuming, to uh, the traffic light by DPW uh, one stop. Um, it is right. fr Friday. Bree, do you want to just jump in and do the news now? Yes. Okay. So, uh, again, from the KUAM News uh, team live on the scene of this uh, serious accident, uh, Sabrina salas Mantanani. Good morning, Sabrina. Off day, everybody. The governor has signed two bills into law. Both were measures she had submitted to the legislature for consideration. The first bill authorizes the refunding of certain bonds.